Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun Dark Dawn. Let's head on to the east side of the AJ region. And find some new enemies. Well, one new enemy here. Cobalt! Those guys are weak to Jupiter, and they like to defend a lot. So what I want to do is use Plasma to exploit the elemental weakness and deal some pretty good damage to all of them since we've got quite a few enemies to deal with this time. Actually, you know what? Let's use Flower to heal up there. And I'm having Reef just attack the Cobalt in the middle there. Even though they only have 89 HP, I don't know that I can guarantee a kill with the Gust Genie if the Cobalt ends up defending and I don't get the double hit off of it. So yeah, just whittle them down a little more on HP. Now we can use Gust, even if the guy defends, I'll be able to plow through it. Okay, I got the double hit and he didn't defend. So sometimes you get lucky like that. And for the rest of the battle, yeah, let's just work on Reef's weapon mastery there. Saw so the unleash effect there can stun the enemies. That's one thing you'll find with mage type weapons is that obviously they're not going to be as powerful as like swords or axes or other you know more traditional melee weapons but they usually have some sort of secondary effect to make up for it like stunning an enemy or draining hp or something like that and let's see well we're probably intended to go to the passage mountain climb there first but i'm not gonna because there's a couple gin and weapons and all sorts of good stuff that I want to get by continuing to the east instead. I mean, we got another couple new enemies. Harpy and... What was the other one? A ghost! I thought it was Ghost, but I was like, wait a minute, that's too simple of a name for an enemy. But no, no it isn't. Let's see, Harpy... Yeah, they have about 100, a little over 100 HP a piece there. So, let's see, yeah, let's get Flower going there, and I'm pretty sure I can kill the Harpy with Guts. And I want to kill the Harpy with it, because it gives a little more experience than a Ghost would. And then I'll just work on my Weapon Mastery with Reef there. But yeah, I'm not going to bother resetting Reef's Gin over and over and over again, so I can get a gin kill on every single enemy that is weak to Jupiter. It's not that important. Hey, alright! I'm, I'm surprised you mastered that so quickly there, Reef. But I guess when you don't have anyone else working on weapon mastery, you can do that. Well, actually, Karis still has a little more on the Elven Rapier. Yeah, a little more, but she'll be fine. I mean, we'll finish it off soon enough, viewers soon enough. Now, hey, hey alright! In this forest, we can meet up with the Jupiter Genie. And so, yeah, let's just go with our regular physical attacks there. Start whittling it down. It's got 264 HP, but one thing about this Genie is that it can run from battle. And, hmm, I'm not sure that I'll have enough damage. I'm not sure if I have dealt enough damage to be able to kill it with flint. So, I think what I'm going to do, yeah, let's just heal up a little bit, whittle it down a little more on HP, so that way I can make sure that I can get the rainbow kill on the genie there. And I was going to say, and hopefully it will run away, or won't run away, hopefully it'll stick around, so that way we can recruit a new genie. Now, if I didn't meet up with the genie right here, right now, I would have just waited until making a return trip, because I don't want to sit around here and grind forever to find it. But, well, we got lucky and got it on the first try to recruit the Ether Genie. And this one restores some synergy to a single target, or a single party member. So that's pretty nice. And actually, what I want to do, I want to give Gust to Karis there, so that, well, she can better 
take advantage of the damage there. And she's also got the Elven Wraith here. I think she mastered that in the battle there. So, yeah, we've got everything good to go. So, yeah, you could go southwest to Ayuthe if you wanted. However, I want to go to Kaocho first, because if you did go to Ayuthe, you wouldn't be able to do a whole lot there anyway until going to Kaocho first. So, let's take a look around. And of course, like all good JRPGs, you have to have a country or local government or whoever's in charge of things based on China and or Japan. Maybe we can get a little money there. Awesome. So let's see what we got around here. Oh. Yeah, why not? Oh. Ha ha. Well, so much for him. So, uh, yeah, Sana is essentially the name of, like, this part, or this region of the continents there. Ooh, an endless wall. Man, this really is like China, huh? How endless could it possibly be? Oh, yeah. Yeah, someone was saying, Ichi Bailey, that was that Neumpa guy. That was the guy who taught you the Force Synergy in the first game. I knew he taught me something, but I couldn't remember which one it was there. Oh, really? How powerful could they possibly be? Oh. Well, there you go. You could examine these scrolls, but there's nothing in them. I think there's one, like, way later in the game that has a treasure behind it. Okay, so let's see. If you go around here... Ha-ha! We can get this treasure. I thought I already opened it, but no. And we get the Sanan dress. I think it was called the China dress in the first two games, but I guess they decided to give it a different name this time around, but otherwise it's identical as it was in the previous two games there. So you could use it to reduce an enemy attack stat, but I I don't think I ever do that, so I'm not really worried. But alright, we can get another elixir there. Might want to start stocking up on those a bit. Whoa! Ooh, talk about swords to pile shares. No, no, that's another game, viewers. Oh. Well, what are you cooking there? Oh. <laughs> I forgot about that line. <laughs> no, let's see. We could continue to the right and go up there, but I don't want to do that just yet. Okay, I thought I missed something in there, but no, no, we're good. So let's see, this is the Sanctum, although I don't think I can talk to that guy. The only way you can talk to, like, the guy in charge of the Sanctums is if you can talk to them from behind the counter, which I don't think we can do here. Oh, well, good, good. Oh, so that's what's going on with the war and all that stuff. Well, I guess, guess you want to just claim territory or whatever. Oh, okay, um, never mind. Could you move, please? I'd like to get over there and collect that genie, but unfortunately we can't do that yet. There's another genie up there, though, that I will be able to collect in the very near future. Ah, nuts. Oh, well. That shop will be open later. Let's see over here. Ooh, a mint. Remember to save that for later. And let's see. I think over here... Eh, I never use those things, but they're available. 
They don't let you run from battle or guarantee your ability to run from battle. Now, now, that's another game, viewers. Or any number of other games. Another series. Whoa! Well, isn't that where we were gonna go? To... What was it? We gotta find that rock feather, whatever it was? Whoa! Uh... Sure, mysterious stranger that I've n never met before. But you absolutely, absolutely want to talk to her to get this gift. We're not going to be able to deliver it until like 80% into the game or something ridiculous like that. But the reward is totally worth it. Might as well collect a little hero tax while we're at it. But yeah, that gift is going to sit in our inventory for a long time. No, I've already got a job. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I didn't know you were paying them. Or what you were paying them. Ooh, nice. So yeah, you could rest up there at the end, but I don't think that's necessary now that I've got a genie that can restore synergy and another that can restore HP, we're doing pretty good. Oh, okay. Then what's she standing there for? I don't know. So I guess this is like a colony of Sana or something. Oh, really? What do you mean expired? People don't expire! Well, not like that anyway. Well, I mean, she means that the former emperor died, but I guess because Wo, King Wo was over here, he couldn't take over or something or whoever that non guy is. How important could he possibly be? Oh, man, he's just trying to take over the whole place, but he's not doing a very good job, evidently. Oh, really? I wonder if that's an actual symbol on the floor mat there, or if it's just a drawing. I, I don't know. Probably means something. But alright, let's see. So over here, yeah, we could buy a side crystal from her, but I'm not particularly interested in that. Oh, by the way, that sun dress that we got, that's a female exclusive piece of armor, so, yeah, only Karis can use it. Oh! Well, he's, maybe you might want to reconsider or live within your means, I suppose. But alright, so here we can buy the Blessed Ankh for Reef, and unlike other stabs, this one is exclusive for Reef and one other party member for some reason. It's almost like its own weapon type in a way, even though it's still considered a kind of staff, it's still exclusive to Reef and one other there. As opposed to other party members who could use staves like Karis there. And here we can get a broadsword. Oh, for some reason I was thinking that was going to cost 1500 gold, but no, no. So yeah, it's a little more powerful than, well, a lot more powerful than the axe we had. And yeah, there's a whole bunch of common armor, but nothing I'm interested in buying. I'm almost broke anyway. And you can see, now I've got every one of my party members on an exclusive weapon type. And that's pretty much what I'm going to be keeping on, on them for a long time. I usually like to keep characters on a single weapon type at this point. Because with four party members, it's kind of hard to master all your weapons as you go, otherwise. Okay, now over here, 
Let me see what I can. Nope, that's wrong synergy. What I want to do is use grip on one of those poles there, but you need to be on the same height as it. So if you get up there on the stairs, hey, all right. So you can use grip to get over here a little earlier than you would otherwise be able to. Not that much quicker. I mean, I could just walk around and get over there, but uh, no, no. But for getting over here, we get another genie. Steel. It's a little weaker than, uh, what was that? Flint there? But it's an attack genie for Venus Elemental but it drains HP from the target instead of just dealing more damage like Flint would. So let's see, let's uh, yeah, move these guys around to keep everything color coordinated there, and we should be good. But yeah, having three of a single element of Jin doesn't upgrade your job class or your stats very much, so I, I, I want to mix things up a little bit at this point. Uh, yes, how did you know? Oh, we're expected? You're not commissioning a clone army for us, are you? No, no, not in this game. Oh, okay, they just say the same things. Okay, well, let's take a look around the palace. Oh, then why did you bother sending them there? Uh, well, yeah, that is true. I hope you gave them something better than pitchforks. Oh. Well, best of luck to you. I don't think it's going to work out. Oh, really? Whoa. Better stay away from that place. Holy cow. Let's see. I think... No, wait. It's the left one? Yeah. Yeah, okay. The left one. But otherwise, nothing in there. Let's see. Now, the path up the middle there leads to the throne room. I don't want to go there just yet. I don't... I want to get some more information about how they know we're coming here. Oh. Ah. Well, he didn't. Ha ha. No, of course not. Now you're just talking crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah, something like that. We can solve all the puzzles that they put in these things. Oh, well, you're too late for that. Oh, really? Huh. So, what happened? Hmm. Ha ha. Well, they have the high ground. Yep. Oh, really? <laughs> nice wording you used in that sentence there. But nope, they refuse to share their insight with you. Okay, so let's take a look here. Uh, well, we can't open that door there. I don't know that we're ever able to open that door, are we? I don't think we can. But it's there nonetheless. Kind of strange, but okay. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Oh, well, I guess that's us? I don't know 
know if I uh, like the sound of this guy. We are! Well, what are you two doing? Well, uh oh. Oh, I guess we want to eavesdrop on them, huh? Who's she? Well, what's going on? Oh, yeah, I suppose we would be. How did they know we were coming here anyway? I mean, we would have to come here sooner or later to advance the plot. Whoa! Well, I did see a couple snake statues at the entrance there. But, yeah, we couldn't get in there. Ha ha ha! What do you mean? What, you can see through walls? Whoa! Oh! They're... Not with your forces? Oh, yeah. That's... So they're in all... They're all in on this... In cahoots with each other, I guess. Where did they go after that? I mean, they just disappear after they get up on the ceiling, I guess. Oh, uh... Yeah, yeah, that's us. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, he kind of kidnapped Reef for a moment. I don't think I like any of these guys. <laughs> oh, uh, thanks. What do you mean? Somehow I imagine if Chalice were voice acted, she would sound like Victoria the Witch. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Oh. Well, we're not. Yeah, we don't work for you. We kicked your soldiers' ass before, we'll do it again. Oh, what's that? Is that like a piece of armor or a artifact weapon or something? Well, I heard something was going on down there. Oh, okay, a uh, mask. Hmm, maybe we should play along. And then take everything for ourselves. Uh, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, uh, exactly. Uh, or that. Well, you're not getting it. It is? I don't know how you came to that conclusion, but okay. Maybe that's just what Chalice was saying. Chalice seems to be kind of an outsider here, though, like with her own soldiers and stuff. Oh, okay, sure, we'll take a letter. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. 
something like that. So if you tried to go to Ayute before Kaocho, you would have been stopped by their soldiers and you wouldn't have been able to do anything there. Or at least not very much. But by coming here first, we can get the letter and then we can get past them and learn a bit more about what's going on there. And get a little more treasure while we're at it too. Oh, well, we could go to Ayuthe. Well, not to us. Oh, what do you mean? Sure, yeah, that's what we were just saying. Okay, so, do you know how to open the door? Because we don't. Oh, what's the worst that could possibly happen? Uh, do you? Well, what's that rope for? You're not going to tell us, are you? Oh, or that. You gonna turn us into dragon feed? No. No, that's another game, viewers. Well, thanks for the letter! That- Whoa! I was about to say, that didn't seem to do much! Why do castles always have those things, like, right in front of the throne room there? Ha ha. They'll learn not to mess with us sooner or later. What do you mean? <laughs> um, okay. We're still not gonna help ya. Well, we're JRPG protagonists, so we can survive falls of infinite height. Absolutely. Oh. Well, maybe. Maybe this is why, uh, what was it, Blados sent us down to the AJ region to get the mask for them. Why they couldn't bother doing it themselves, I don't know. But, alright. Well, good thing we landed on these uh, spinning blades. Well, they're not spinning, but whatever these things are that we're standing on. Good thing we didn't fall right through the cracks of it. Or the gaps. Maybe they were trying to execute us. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Oh. Well, that might be a problem. Hmm. Well, yeah, I suppose we could take a look around. But can we find a way to escape the Ouroboros? Find out next time on Let's Play Golden Sun Dark Dawn. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!